Hello everyone, welcome back to more Resident Evil HD Remaster. I'm going to show you how to uh, make the V-Jolt and how to get into the room to gain access to the V-Jolt. So here we go. Once we're in the residence room, so this is all story related, so you have to come to this room anyway. So once you're in this room, you'll find a passcode. So this will be different order compared to you, but it's always the same three numbers on the same color. So the pink one will be number three, the green is number six, and then the yellow is number five. So it's always one of these three numbers is just maybe in a different order. So I'm gonna try to explain how to do this um, combination as best as I can. So once you enter this room, you want to grab all four of these empty bottles. You don't have to grab all four, but I do anyway. So the first thing you want to do is grab some water and fill one bottle up. The next thing we're going to go to is go to the red chemical. So that is UM3, UMB number three, sorry. Combine the red with the water to make the purple. This will be MP004. Now you want to head to the yellow and take some of the yellow. Once you've done the yellow, you want to combine that with the purple to make the orange, UMB number 10. Once you have that, we're now going to go back to the water and fill a bottle up. Once you've done that, head back to the yellow and fill another bottle up. Once you've done that, you want to combine the yellow and the water to get a UMB number 7 again. And combine this 7 with the UMB 10. This will make a VP017. Once you have done that, go back to the red and now combine the red with the blue to finish up the VGL. If there's any confusion of this video, please look in the description down below. I'm going to show you a step by step text guide on how to do it. I tried to make the text guide as simple as I can, so if you struggle watching this video, then uh, there's some more information down below. So for those who actually stay longer to know what to do with the V-Jolt, here we go. So basically we're gonna go back to Neptune's tank. So if you guys and girls know how to get back, then go back to Neptune's tank. So once we head back into the tank where Neptune was, there will be the guard room just to the left hand side. So once you enter this room, you shall find the root of the plant for the boss. So with the V-Jolt, you want to go directly underneath it and then use the V-Jolt to kill it. So now once you go to fight the plant, you don't have to do it because it's dead. So now, for people who are wondering how you can actually solve this puzzle, you want to go to the uh, pool table room. So I'm going to show you on the video anyway. 
So this area to how to solve it is located in this area. So you'll need to have the lighter equipped. So there'll be three lamps, all different colors. So there's one of them. So that's the red one. And then you'll find another color down below here. I believe this is the green one. Of course you need to light this up. So each eye will correspond on the keypad. And also we're going to find the number that corresponds to this eye. So now you want to go to the top floor. You'll see the uh, pool table here. And in the corner you will find the orange lamp. So once again, you need to remember these eyes. So once you remember these eyes, you now want to go to the pool table. So as you see, the green will be six, the red will be number three, dash pink, because it looks pink on the keycad, keycad, keypad, and then the orange one will be five. So it's always going to be these numbers, just maybe not in the order that I've shown you. So yeah, that is it for Resident Evil, guys. If this helps, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one.